What up YouTube, Balboa here with a brand new Batman V review. And for the first time, this is a Batman V review that you can actually go out and buy the toy. Well, except, well, if this is like after this recording, at least during the time of this recording, you can buy this toy. If this is like, I don't know, like five years later and you're watching this, like, oh, what's this? Then you can unfortunately buy the figure in stores. You have to go to eBay. But this is the first time, at least at the time of this recording, that you can actually buy a Batman figure that I'm reviewing for Batman Video Reviews. Now, the packaging on this thing is pretty cool. This is the Dark Knight Rises Movie Masters Batman. Uh, backing the camera, because this packaging is huge. You have very nice artwork of, uh, I guess, a wall being broken in well, Gotham City. Uh, you have the Dark Knight Rises Adult Collector, so he collects adults. Luckily, I'm a teenager, so I'm not affected by this. You have the Collect and Connect piece, which is the only reason I'm buying this thing. Um... You have all your figures and a bio just about the line telling how good and detailed and articulated it is. Which is, bleh, I w it's very generic packaging. I wish they would actually just make, make individual packaging, but they don't do that. Uh, you can collect all six to create the bat signal projector, which is the only reason why I'm buying this, this line, I'm not going to lie. Um, you collect all six and you can make them. Uh, you got Bane and Alfred and Batman, so yeah, put the packaging aside. Well, actually, we're going to take it out because I want to show the piece he comes with. This is the piece here. It is right here. You can see the piece it is. This piece number one. And I can easily say that this is a nice piece. I mean, it's got some really nice shading, a decent texture to it. Uh, it looks good. Very nice shading. Very nice paint apps. Um, I will be collecting and connecting the pieces as I get them. However, I will do the video view for the actual projector by itself without being attached to a figure. So, heads up on that. So we'll move the camera in and talk about the figure. Now, I am honestly not going to lie. I thought it would be a repackaging of this figure from the Dark Knight. And I can proudly say that this figure is far superior and way better than this figure. Now, I will quickly give you a comparison. Here he is with Batman Begins, the Dark Knight, and the Dark Knight Rises. So there are your comparisons. Um, this guy is really nice. And my computer screen turned off. Um, this thing is really nice, and I really like this figure. Um, the detail on the belt is great. I gotta say right now, um, it has silver, it has more than all weapons, so I'm gonna move the arms out so you can see. And look at this, the detail. It looks like a little phone. Can that focus? It's not gonna focus. But it, it, it it's really well detailed. It looks good. Same thing, I apologize if you have to look at the butt, but... Uh, on the back, it's detailed really well. On the side, I mean, this this belt's really detailed. Considering the other belt we had was just silver, and the other one was just uh, gold. Well, not even gold, yellow. Horrible. Um, this belt's molded great. It's fantastic. So there you go. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that the joints in the uh, boots and in the gloves do get stuck, they are made of a plastic that is very shiny but sticks easily. So when you first get them, the elbows will stick and the wrist will uh, stick. I actually thought it didn't have wrists until I actually saw a review on this guy. But he does have wrist articulation and I will cover that in the articulation part. But we're going to cover in the detail because the detail is what I like. Um, I'm actually surprised the bat signal wasn't done in the same plastic that this is cast in. Uh, or at least a paint app. That would have been cool. Um, very nice molded armor detail. I've always liked this design, except for the nose. The nose always seemed a little big, like it's too big, um, but, I mean, it's very well molded, even on the back if you lift up the cape, which is plastic. Boo, I hate plastic capes. I like cloth capes, because they weigh less, they don't weigh the figure down, and they are more realistic. But, uh, yeah, detailing is just phenomenal on the figure. Uh, very, very nice, especially in the abdomen. In fact, some of it is pretty so good that it actually hides some of the articulation. Like he has an ab crunch, I believe. You can see he has an ab crunch, which it, with the uh, the way this is designed, it, I just noticed that. So very nice. Now articulation, this guy is extremely well. It's like a DC UC figure. You have a ball jointed head that looks up and down, left and right. I always preferred a cut swivel for more upward and downward movement. By the way, they molded underneath the neck. That is great attention detail. Um, the arms do go 360, but they get hindered by the cape just a little. You move them out, you're good. 
the arms go up that much before the shoulder pads get in the way. And he does have a bicep swivel, an elbow, well, yeah, elbow, and then a wrist. By the way, they have the fins. Love that. Ab crunch and a waist that actually doesn't look that bad, but it still looks bad. The legs go up. They don't go back. Well, actually, they go back like a hair. Uh, they do go outward, which, yeah, that's a little awkward looking. Uh, he does have a swivel right here at the thigh, a knee, and he also has a ankle that bends. He, it doesn't tilt, unfortunately, but it does bend. So, that is articulation on the Batman figure. And I gotta say that this is a great figure. I, I can really recommend this figure. I mean, this figure just so much right. It has great... I, I love the detail. The belt's detailed perfect. The skin tone on the face, it's good. They gave him pupils in the eyes. The molding is excellent. The paint, I, it always threw me off why they made the boots and the gloves so shiny. Um, while the rest of the figure isn't. That always threw me off. But he does have peg holes, by the way, in the feet. So you can actually stand on a stand if you wanted to. <clears throat> I actually have a stand right here at the side. This came with a Green Lantern figure. So we're just going to plug him into that stand. I don't think the stand actually fits the peg in... Alright, the stand doesn't fit the peg in the boot. But that's because Batman's so cool that he doesn't need a stand. Yeah, I just totally covered up my excuse. But anyway, this is a great figure. Um, the joints in, the, in mine are a little loose in the hip area. So he often has a little trouble standing. But the tight ankles... The ankles are really tight, so it kind of makes up for it. So the joints can get loose... But it, they're not super loose, and that's just my thing. Mileage may vary, but this is just such an excellent figure. I can really recommend this to any fan of Batman. If you are a Batman fan, totally grab this thing. It is a great figure. Um, it is better than this figure from the Dark Knight, although this figure does have a cloth cape, so it still retains points. And it is better than this figure that was released in Batman Begins. However, the costume design from Batman Begins was dramatically different from the costume design in The Dark Knight. And these guys have the same costume design because they didn't change the costume design at all. But it still is a nice figure and I could really recommend this. This is honestly what Batman would look like in real life. Having this armored and really badass design and utility belt. I mean, this thing is just so cool. It hits my aesthetic pleasure so well. It, it, I just really like this figure. And after reviewing the lizard, well, I just let out so much hatred. It's good to find a figure. And my dad's calling me. So, no. F filming a video review here, dad. Sorry. But, um, this is just such a good figure that I really recommend him to anyone who is a fan of Batman, especially the Dark Knight movie, which is the movie that I'm the most anticipated for. This is the one movie that I'm going to see the first day it comes out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Do you guys own this figure? What do you think? What are your thoughts? And I would like to hear them. I think it's an excellent figure and one that deserves to be in any Batman fan's collection. Now, I actually kind of wish he came with like a batarang or a grapple gun, because he does have holding things hands, but he doesn't come with anything to hold. Which is a knock against the figure, but still an excellent figure. Uh, till then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video review, and I hope you guys will uh, stay for more Batman video reviews. Till then, adios.